Hi, David Behrens here with Coldwell Banker Valley Brokers, and I'm here to give you a market update for Corvallis, Oregon. The stats for August are in, and uh, we're moving into fall, so it's high time. Um, in Corvallis, sales are up about 9.2% to a total of 565 sales in the last rolling 12 months. Um, average sales price is up 2.6%, which is a nice steady average, up to a $409,574 sales price, average sales price. Of course, no property is average and those averages are influenced by way, wide variances in the market. Days on market has stayed the same at 75. Um, that number is influenced a lot by the needs of the buyers and sellers in transactions, by cash sales, by how long lenders are taking to process loans, and by the build out of new construction, which takes a little bit of time sometimes. Um, our, the WVMLS, Willamette Valley Multiple Listing Service, posts the days on market based on the day the house went on the market to the day it closed. So definitely includes the escrow period in that time frame. Actives are the big news. They're up one third, which is a lot when you think about it, but it's really only 143 active houses in a community of our size. That makes for really tight inventory numbers. We have about 2.22 months of inventory, which is indicative of a very strong seller's market. Uh, hypothetically, that would be if no new houses came on the market, it would take 2.22 or almost two and a quarter months to sell off all the inventory we have. Of course, that's not necessarily the, tr the factual, the way it would work because there are some houses that just don't sell and there are always new houses coming on the market. Anyway, that um, is the information for the new market update for August statistics in Corvallis, Oregon. There's uh, charts and graphs and things like that on my website. If you're interested in taking a look at that, you can go to davidrealestate.com and check it out. And there you have it, market update for Corvallis, Oregon.